Hi, it's Stud, and today I'm gonna show you the most recent machine I've created today. So right here I have Calculator 2.0, and of course the so Roblox uh, filters that out. So I had to be a little bit creative with the title, but you get the point. This is a this is a new calculator design I've made, and it's pretty small. Now it's not like the other ones which do addition. This one instead does multiplication. So to demonstrate that, let me do two times three. And then right here, you have to enter button and then the reset button. So let me press the enter button and we should get six. As you can see, we got six just like intended. So if we look at the mechanism really quickly, this is how it works. Uh, this can be quite brief because, uh, you know, it is pretty complicated, especially in the later parts. So right here is when you press this button right here, you activate this right here, both of these passageways. And it'll, at, once you activate this, it will put this push block on this button, which moves the the push block right here on a grid and yeah this is a conveyor and I'll move it slowly for in this direction and then after that it'll reset of course but then when you press this multiplication sign it shifts all of that to the right right here so then when it hits this instead it will be put another I'll, put, I'll be put on the other side of the grid. This is this works like a multiplication table if you don't know what that is. So anyway, over here is the enter key and then the reset one right here. So yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory. So when you press the enter uh, button, it will slide through both of these buttons, which this one right here Oh, let me grab that. This one activates all these wedges and make them con can collide. So if the push block is in the middle, it will just push it over to over it in the middle. And then right here, it deletes the floor so the f push block can fall down. And this is the part which took me forever to accomplish right here, this thing. So it's a giant pyramid of several channels and buttons and I had to do this because my button limit was really low now of course I could have deleted this right here but yeah I didn't really want to so if I wanted to add another layer for example go to seven buttons that would require three ten more buttons and sadly I cannot get the amount to get more 10 more buttons although perhaps I can get them right here yeah maybe so maybe I could add a seventh digit or should I say seventh number but currently I'm gonna stick with six so let's uh, do a bit more results to really show what this thing is capable of You gotta press the number, wait for the timer up top, then press the multiplication sign, then the other number. After which you can press the enter key. Just like that we got 30. Now you can also do small addition, but not that much. Let me show you what I mean. So you can do 2, and then you don't have to press any plus button, and then you can do 3. And then once you press this, you should get a four. But what happens? Oh yeah, sometimes it gets stuck, so you have, to, you have to press the enter button again. Oh, I got zero. Yeah, this thing still has some bugs, and that's all right. Uh, you can't fix everything, as I will say. But fortunately, everything else works, and that's great. Uh, where did this thing go? What? It's like really confusing. Uh, okay, anyway. 
So this is the calculator 2.0 as I would say. I'm planning on adding uh, division later. Although that might be a little bit hard with double digits. Now one thing about division is that you're going to get decimals and I don't know how to do decimals. Maybe just replace it with another uh, uh, digit and then just put a dot there, okay. So yeah, that's another issue with decimals and I don't know how to combat with decimals. Uh, example of that is uh, when dividing 10 into th by 3. If I, if I divide 10 by 3, I would get 3.3 repeating, which is the smallest answer possible. So maybe I could add like a small dot here to indicate that. And yeah, possibly I could do 10 divided by 3. Feel free to improve on this design. I won't get mad. Uh, unlike some of you have said, I won't get mad. I'm actually pretty glad of that. Because I don't want to go through the work of making a better design because that's difficult. And uh, when you guys do it, that ha that saves me the hassle of trying to do it again. So thanks for that. So this could be a little bit smaller and that's what I'm going to be trying to do for the next like few uh, next few days. But anyway, thanks for watching. But I do have a few things to say before the video ends. First of all, my uh, my view count has been going down a little bit. And uh, most of my views are supported by the Grubhub video. Now this is a very uh, big issue because my, my, my focus was going to be on uh, Hobby Creator Engineering. But when I get this few, huge uh, view... Uh, pl most of my sub count is from like people who just want to see memes. It's kind of difficult to balance out the two. So yeah, I will be creating a meme later today and then uploading it uh, on like Saturday. Yeah. So anyway, thanks for watching and bye.